Hey everyone and welcome to Monday, Monday, Mondays, <laughs> Money Mondays. I'm Yoshida and this is Norris Cove. You guys, it's Money Mondays. So, whew, I'm kind of back on track. I'm kind of back on track. Um, I have these Build Do stickers here. You guys, I switched my cover from my um, Emoterm. So, I have my journal in here now. Oh, it scratched up my journal. It's okay. So, let me take out the things that I had in there. I'll put that back. And let's get in. It's going to be really brief because this week I only paid... Let's see. And this is the end of the month. So for probably next Monday and maybe before we'll be doing our um, monthly budget together. So this was July 13th to the 19th. I didn't do a budget last week because of the sale. I was just busy, but I did want to show you guys so far how I have this set up. We'll also be doing a setup that'll probably be Wednesday's video is setting up my budget planner which will be this half letter i originally bought this for it um, from office depot it is a tool i do like it but then i bought some cloth and paper glass um, covers for it and then i decided i wanted to use the mo term for it which was the original plan all along but it just wouldn't fit so i was going to try to make it work but now i'm just like you know what just stick to this because for real, I don't need a lot of disc space. And I actually have these discs here for it. And I still may use those. So we'll see when I set it up on Wednesday. So this was July's monthly budget. And actually, let's just, you guys, just kind of go on and do August. Should we do August? Do I have an August monthly in here? I should. I do. Pick up the little angles there so let's just go ahead and work on August's budget I'm going to start here and then what I'll probably do is go in and fill in this off camera and then we'll discuss it later and then I have my pre-planning pad here which doesn't have a lot going on this week which I'm kind of glad about it's not a lot of bills it's not a lot of um, things to do so this is an insert that I made, and I think this is what I'm going to kind of go with for my inserts because I can be a little more consistent with this. This is what I want it to kind of look like besides the blue. So I'm still supposed to be working on these inserts, but right now they're just for me. Once I get a design down, I will um, offer them again in my shop. So let's go ahead and write down our bills for the month. Okay, so it'll be for August. The huh, the year is just passing right on by. And I have to do my projected income. I'm not going to do income because I got a lot of things in place for August. Well, not necessarily in place, but I, I'm kind of going back to work. So then I have to um, report what I'm making from work, which isn't a lot at the moment. So... I'm going to say $3,000, which it could possibly be less, it could possibly be more, but that is the projected, and we'll do a check-in at the end of the month. So let me write down my expenses. My expenses shouldn't come over the $3,000, but I like to put my car note first because that's the most important. So car note number one, car note number two. I have my, if you're new here, I have my car note broken up into two payments, which I actually like. It's, it works best for me. Um, I like to do my most important things first. Car insurance, and there should be a date on here. See now looking at this is something else I need to do. I need to add dates, but I'll go in and put them in the calendar here. So lately my car insurance kind of fluctuates because my life insurance is included. Um, with that so but it's normally 218 this month it was 233 so what I'll do is come back and put the actual so again once I redo this I think I'll add in the date so for reference I'm going to 
go back and look through like June. I don't know why I have all of those in there. And July. Let's see. So I'm just gonna use this calendar as a reference of what I paid last time. And then I clearly didn't put anything down for July. I don't know why. So my next important thing is my cell phone bill. Oh Lord. Which is, I'll put 300 down. That's really somewhat of the bill, but not really. Next up, I'll put capital one. And I really need to just go ahead and pay that off. I'm going to put $100. I only owe like 200 and it'll be paid off. Um, Citibank, I owe Citibank a lot, but I want to give them a hundred, which I kind of already did, but it's not within the month. So I'll probably still have to pay that bill, which is normally the 18th or the 17th. Then I have Barclays and I've been trying to give them a hundred. Now also I put my savings down as a bill and that would be 200 because I try to do $50 a week. I think I missed last week. So I need to add a hundred. Let's see. I paid off my Navy Federal Credit Union loan. I'm happy about that. So let's see, savings Barclay. This is pretty much, so I have Amazon, the small things like my subscriptions. I'll add those. Amazon, my cloth and paper. I have two subscriptions now. Why? I don't know. But anyway, <laughs> when I saw the Ollie clip, I just like, I need two of those. Um, that's like $76. I have Canva. That's $12.99. It may be $11.99. I don't know. Also, Flat icons, I think that's $11.99. And then I just finally got stamps.com for me to send happy mail and it'd probably be cheaper. I have four weeks free, I believe, or a month free, but I'm gonna put it in here. At least I hope, because after I paid for it, put my credit card information, next thing I know, it said error. I'm like, I pray these people don't have my credit card because it's going to be a situation, a whole situation. Okay, let's see what else do we have to pay. I'm going to go back to like June. It wasn't a lot. I did for the icons. Okay, I think that is it, you guys. I'm going to do the total and then I'll come right back. So the total came up to $1,528.16. I'll try to insert me using the calculator. I did um, calculate it. So that's what we have so far. This number right here, we're going to hope we can get this paid. So now let's just kind of go into our weekly and what we need to pay this week going forward. So this week, the first thing that is due on the 28th, that is my car insurance. And actually today, the 27th, XM Radio came out and they took out $20 and like 33 cent, which it was supposed to be $6 and six cents. So I should have put that over there. But I know my car insurance this month is two thirty-three, dollars And I'll see what it comes out to be. Uh, the first, so let me switch over in my calendar to July. Yeah, so Amazon comes out on the first or the second. Oh, you know what? I forgot something to add into my monthly budget. Um, Amazon. 
And what made me think about it is the date. It comes out on the second, which is Wayfair. And then also on the first, I have CNP, and that's seventy-six of dollars. Amazon, that's twelve ninety-nine. Got a lot this week. I thought I didn't. And Wayfair is on the second. And I really don't know how much my bill will be. It's normally like thirty something. I had paid that off, and I charged something else. So I'm gonna put fifty because I want to pay it off a little faster. So I'm gonna add that fifty. back here and just tack on 50 and that's 15 78 16 now all right so that's what i have to pay this week i have my car insurance xm radio amazon cmp and wayfair so let's snap all of this back in oh i need to pay my flag so i'm gonna make a note of it here and that's only thirty dollars so let me put that here i think i'm gonna pay that on the 29th flag fee 30. okay so let's snap back in so july has gone by we're in about to be in August. My goodness, my goodness, my goodness. So I'm going to snap that there. I'm still missing one of these discs, and I saw it the other day, and I said, let me put it aside, and I still didn't put it in. It's okay. We're going to get our whole new setup. So we have our August budget here. And then, like I said, I'll go in and fill this in, and then we'll just review this on next week on Monday, Mondays. Monday, Monday, so money Mondays. Why can I get that right? So actually I'm gonna pull out one of my past due stickers because this flag fee, it's not overdue. It's just, I'm late kind of paying it. So yeah, let's just put that there. And I love these past due stickers because sometimes some things we need an alert to, especially me, I need like a flashlight to let me know that something's late. Oh. I'm gonna put another one. Okay. So, anything else? And I actually, let's see, no, that's it. And I'm gonna see if there's anything I need to bring a note to. I think that is it, you guys. Have I paid anything already? No. I think I paid Capital One already. I'll double check, but I don't think so. I'll double check. Plus, I just want to give them an extra 100 anyway, just to pay them off. So that's it, you guys. This is my budget planner now. And going forward, this is what I'll be using, I believe. I'm just going to change the disc. We're going to add some inserts. But this is it. This is pretty much all that I need. I just need weekly check-ins. I need a monthly view because that's how I look at my budget. And I have these. These are project inserts from the planner spot. And I was going to use this for something. I just cannot remember what. And I think I was just anxious to have them. So that's that. Oh, and then I have a note in here that I got instant ink and I got five free months of it. So I stuck it here in December because in December my five free months will run out. So I need to make a note of that. And actually, let me make a note. This just works for me. Let me do this one. I'm going to make a note of the stamps.com. I probably need to call them. Uh, what's today? Today is the 27th. And so I think it said four weeks. So on August, I'm going to say the 20th. Either cancel or buy, honey. Cancel or buy your sheet, you need to make up your mind. So I'm gonna stick this in August so I can make a note of it when I go to 
um, plan and I'm gonna actually sit it out just a little bit so that I know that it's there. So when I open up my planner, it looks like that. Okay, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you learned anything new, let me know. Give me a shout out in the comment section. Let me know how do you budget? What are you using to do your budget in? This is what I'm using at the moment. I'd love to know what you're using. Again, if this is your first time watching any of my content and you enjoyed today's video and you want to see more, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.